Hey guys, so I think I told you that um, Mike was away and so that's why I'm home. But today I decided to go grab lunch with my sister. She is actually currently working. We go to the same, we went to the same college. So she's currently um, gonna be a senior at the school where I graduated from. And I am heading to have lunch with her now. So we're walking along my campus. We actually have like the number one theater program in the country, which is pretty cool. I personally never did theater, but we also have really great neuroscience, which is what I did. Woo! There it is. So for those of you that don't know, um, I graduated from Muhlenberg College where I studied neuroscience and women's studies. And this is my campus. It's a really small liberal arts school in Pennsylvania, but it was literally like the happiest place on earth. Like I loved going to school here. Every single one of my friends, like everyone would go back <laughs> and do more school here because the teachers were just amazing and we loved the campus and it was just a super awesome experience. Out, I need to then take a shower, dry my hair, curl my hair. Those won't happen in the same day, you know? Emily. <laughs> well, I found Emily. Emily's currently working in admissions for the summer, but I kidnapped her for At lunch. At Muhlenberg College. I know, out. I just literally I gave them, I literally just gave them my whole, like, Muhlenberg's <laughs> the best promo. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, but we're going to lunch and unselfish plug about Muhlenberg, we always have like the top 12 or top 13 food in the entire country. False. Number 16 in the country and number one in Pennsylvania for college campus oh. food. It used to be 13 when I was here, but... I'm in charge of the tour guide program. <laughs> it used to be it top 13. Close. Okay, we just ate lunch. And now I'm taking Emily back to work. <laughs> and then I have to go apply to residency slots. And then we're gonna go to the gym. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, I decided while I was walking, I would chat with you guys. Um, so Mike is in Louisiana, and it's honestly like really hard when he's gone. Um, I've definitely been feeling bummy in the mornings and at night, like times that we would either be together. I think when you're going to sleep and it's late at night, like that's when things get really hard. Um, when your spouse or your boyfriend or whoever is away, I actually talked about this on my Instagram lately, but um, definitely been missing him a lot. The puppy helps, <laughs> the puppy makes things a lot better, but it is sad. Um, and I think him being in the military is great, but like it's definitely hard because Mike's gone a lot and he's gone both for extended trainings like this and he's also gone um, literally even when he's like home, he's not always home. So he's often like in the field during the week, which means he's like sleeping, sleeping over out like in a hammock or a tent somewhere. I don't know, in the field. Maybe he's sleeping on the ground, I'm not sure. But it is just sad, like you, have to be very independent and that's fine like I like that and I think that suits itself well to my lifestyle and who I am as a person but it's still hard to like be away from people you love you know I don't think it's something where you at least the way I handle it is like I'm not crying every day or anything like that when my husband's gone, but um, it does like, it makes you sad. And it's like things where you wanna text them during the day or you wanna like share something really great that happens or you're struggling. Like I know I've been really down lately cause I'm struggling with like a lot of insecurity related to my businesses, my like entrepreneurship stuff. School's going great. Grad school is going fantastically and that's super easy, but um, my businesses have been making me really insecure because I think I've been wanting my step one of like growing small businesses to be other people's step tens, and I've been comparing them to like other people's success, and that has been like really hard for me. And Mike is always one to like put things in perspective. 
Michael always has like an amazing way of grounding me and when I'm starting to like think irrationally or be really insecure, doubt myself, doubt my purpose, doubt my mission, he always like puts things in perspective and reminds me of what's important or he prays with me or whatever it is like he resets me and makes me realize that like this is just a step in a much larger journey and yeah so I'm missing my biggest cheerleader right now <laughs> for sure um, and that's hard but I have days and she's a good she's a good substitute for now and I have a wonderful family that I'm able to hang out with luckily so yeah So we decided to take Daisy to the nature preserve stay to go swimming um, because it's a really hot day. Are you excited, Days? Are you staying? Sit. Stay. Are you so excited to go for a swim? Okay, let's go swim. are going to Wegmans for There's dinner. There's no parking spots. Um, there's no parking spots apparently, but I love Wegmans. They don't have Wegmans in the South and it's literally like my favorite place, favorite grocery store, it's amazing. So yeah, well, we're gonna go get some dinner. <laughs> You're vlog famous now. Oh Katie, two people watch your vlog. vlog. And it's <laughs> the two of them. Oh. Hi. It won't, it won't focus. Oh, there we go. Okay, we are in Target, and um, Emily's 21st birthday is next next weekend? Is this next weekend? Well, the 27th weekend. The 27th weekend, whenever that is. We think it's next weekend. Not, and not, not next weekend, the next one after that. The next next weekend, and so we are getting things to make her an awesome birthday. We're currently searching for drinking games. We got all kinds of really fun tablecloths to make backdrops. We got Prosecco glasses, llama napkins. Hold on, these are like bombs. Llama napkins. Any adult games? I was just like, never have I ever and stuff. You can be like moving along the floor, which is hot lava. Oh. Wait, it's a wild stain <laughs> in the woman's underwear aisle. <laughs> oh, actually, the maternity. <laughs> maternity. <laughs> okay. Of another protest group. This First is ruling, and if it's not work. stopped right away, right, we're going to get back into the streets like yeah. we haven't seen since the T-shirts. has been a really smart decision for our business. Custom Ink has hundreds of products and free shipping. Upload your logo or start your design today at customink.com. Fact is, every insurance company hopes you drive safely. 